Hey traders, this is Kim from NinjaAddons.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can create a market scanner with a Chartist Indicator and NT8 Market Analyzer. Let's get started. The Chartist Indicator comes with one market scanner that is given to you as a bonus, and this is automatically installed in your computer when you install the Chartist Indicator. It also comes with a Market Analyzer template to help you create your own scanner. In order to create a new market scanner, simply navigate to the control center, then click on New Market Analyzer. This will open an empty window. Note that the market analyzer works with real-time data, so you need to be connected to your market data provider to be able to see something in the scanner window. Now, once you are connected to your data feed and the market analyzer window is open, first, you're gonna need to add a new column that will display information with regards to the Chartist Indicator. To do so, right-click somewhere in the Market Analyzer window, then select Columns. It opens a new window from where we are going to select a new Chartist Scanner. From this window, open the folder named Ninja Add-ons. And as you can see here, there is one scanner named Chartist Scanner Type 1.00. This scanner is pretty simple and detects the Chartist patterns on the chosen time frame. But first, you have to configure it properly. So let's dive in the configuration of this scanner. First, you'll need to double click on the Chartist Scanner Type 1 to add it in the configured panel at the bottom. Then select the scanner. And as you can see on the right hand side, you have the possibility to change all the settings that comes with a Chartist indicator. At the very top, you can configure the swing settings according to your own values. You can change the background color of the cell and its foreground color for each different situation in order to be able to quickly detect a certain pattern configuration directly by looking at the cell's color. Now say for example you set the valid pattern background color to lime, then each time you'll see a lime cell in the scanner, you'll know a valid pattern has been detected. Below, you can change all the different ratios and parameters if you need to, and then select the time frame that you want to scan. Let's choose a 60-minute time frame, for example. By the way, note that you need to load a minimum of 250 bars to get an accurate result. Below that value, the indicator will not be properly initialized and the scan will not be synchronized with the corresponding chart. Finally, you can let the other settings to their default values. Once this is done, you can click on OK, and as you can see, there's a new column in the scanner window that corresponds to the Chartist Scanner Type 1. Now, in order to see something, remember that you need to be connected to a data feed, and also, you need to load at least one instrument that you want to scan. So, let's say, for example, you want to scan the current contract of the NASDAQ. Here you go. The cell is now updated and will display a message if a Chartist pattern is detected on the 60 minute time frame of NASDAQ. As you can see, it can be a bit long to configure an entire market scanner, but once it's done, it's really a great help because it gives you a wider view of the time frames of the instrument you trade. In order to simplify the process, we provide the Chartist Indicator, a market scanner template. So if you right click on the window, select templates and then load, you will find one template based on Chartist Scanner Type 1. Just click on it and then load. As you can see, you are now scanning several futures and forex instruments on many different time frames. The information displayed in each cell is the name of the pattern, if there's any, and the number indicates the number of bars in the past starting from now that the configuration was detected. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please send us a note at contact at ninja-addons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.